Collateral damage is part of the game when you're a hitman. This is a review of the new film, The Virtuoso. You're a professional, an expert devoted to timing and precision. You keep your tools in pristine condition. You make precise plans. But there's always events you can't control. The Virtuoso is tops in his field, but his latest target proves to be particularly challenging. This is a one-off. It's a short time frame. Let me be crystal clear. With this fee, it is delicate. Special outcome demanded by client. Call me when it's done. Director and co-writer Nick Stagliano has the pieces of what should be a taut edge of your seat, who's the bad guy, and how many of them are their thriller, but just can't get them together. Anson Mount is the not-so-believable, stoic, and sullen virtuoso who's trying to get back to form after a deadly mistake. Recent Academy Award winner Anthony Hopkins phones it in for his role as the mentor, the guy trying to talk his longtime employee off the ledge, while giving him a mysterious assignment in a small town where we meet the waitress, played efficiently by Abby Cornish. And like I said, the pieces are there. The mysterious characters that include the deputy, the loner, handsome Johnny, and Johnny's girl. There's the spooky settings and so many unknowns, perfect for twists and turns. Too bad it's pretty obvious where it will twist and turn, and you have to sit through some painful dialogue. Also, someone really needed to be more aggressive in the editing room. I did dig some of the storytelling. The real-time narration by the virtuoso was a big part early and really helped move things along, but it was minimal later on. Also, a few of those twists and turns were pretty good when you got there. And when you put it all together, I give The Virtuoso three stars out of five on the Rob rating scale. You can target The Virtuoso now in theaters and most video-on-demand platforms. I'm Rob LaFrance, and I'll see you at the concession stand.